When Twitch brought out channel points, it was a really cool new feature, but it lacked a lot of functionality to really do anything creative with them. We all wished that there was something out there that could interact with channel points and make them better, but there wasn't. Until now. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to Tectacular. Here you're going to find unboxings, reviews and tutorials just like the one you're going to see today. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Link is down below. You clicked on this video today because you want to help make your channel stand out and become more unique. Now with the help of the team at Better Scenes, you can utilize your channel points in a whole new way. So if you don't know, there is a new thing called Better Points. It's a little browser extension that interacts directly with OBS Studio. It reads all your different redemptions from your channel and then will perform actions based on them. Better Points can do a few different things at the moment. It can change scenes, interact with sources, and it can interact with filters as well. And it does this all automatically. It's a pretty nifty tool. So today I'm going to show you guys what you need and how to set it all up. Plus, afterwards, we're going to go through and talk about a couple of bugs you might run into, but they're super easy fixes, nothing to worry about too much. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need is the browser extensions. And uh, depending on what browser you use, you've got your Chrome or Firefox versions. If you use the new Microsoft Edge browser like myself, that's based on Chromium, the Chrome one works just fine with that. So I'll have links to both of these in the description below. Next up, we're going to head over to the Better Points website. I'll have a link to this website in the description below. We're going to head over to the Purchase tab, and you're greeted by two different options. The free tier is going to give you two events and three actions. So it is limited being free. And the uh, what to understand what those mean, an event is something that is attached to the channel point redemption itself, and the actions are the different things that the event does. And you're gonna get three of those actions per event. So an example of those three actions could be turning on a source, like a, like a video. Waiting five seconds would be a second action. And a third action would be turning that source off again. So as you can see, you do get a, you get a little bit of a taste of what better points can do with the free tier. But if you really want to get the full benefit out of better points and can start to do some, some complex automatic actions, then you do want to go with the premium tier. Now per month, it is $5 a month if you just wanted to try it out for one month. But if you do pay annually, you do get a discount and it comes down to $3 a month, which is less than Twitch sub, so that's it's honestly pretty good value for everything that it does. So I would highly recommend going with that if you like what you see and you really want to give this a shot. Okay, there's one more thing that we need, and that is the OBS WebSocket plugin. If you already have this plugin installed, great, you can skip this part. Uh, if not, then all you need to do is come to the OBS Forums website and you'll, there'll be the WebSocket plugin uh, page here. I'll have a link to this in the description below. Once you get here, head over to the download page, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there are two ways to install this plugin. You can use the installer, which is quick and easy, does it all for you, or if for some reason, if the installer doesn't work, or you prefer to do it the normal method, uh, you can download the files and install the plugin manually. So now we're going to set up the OBS WebSocket. So if you head to the top of OBS and go to the tools section, Come down here and you should see a setting that says WebSockets Server Settings. Click on that and you'll get a new box that pops up. So this is where you allocate the uh, the server port for your OBS WebSocket. Now, by default, yours will be 4444. You can change this number to whatever you want. This runs, you're going to be running this on the local host, so it's just looking directly in your computer. Um, now, if you want a password, you can. It's not needed, but up to you. And then I would recommend keeping enable system tray alerts unticked because that can get quite annoying uh, with Windows constantly giving you audio notifications. Um, so make sure, so set the number to whatever you want. Um, you can leave it, leaving it as default is fine, um, but just make sure that you remember the number and remember the password that if you put one in. Then once you've done that, you click OK. The next step is to head over to your creator dashboard, click
click on the little community tab on the left here and then go down to the channel points and click that. It will then take you to this page here. What you want to do is you want to manage rewards and challenges. Click on that one there. And then as you can see, you can, these are all of my redemptions that I have previously made. And I'll give you a little demo of one of them later. But for now, if we scroll all the way down, obviously you won't have to scroll as, uh, as much as I will. But you'll see default rewards at the bottom. And just above that is this little button that says add new custom reward. You want to click that. So here we're going to make a reward and let's call this mind blown and we're going to give that amount so we'll make the amount maybe about 300 points and then we'll set a custom color maybe maybe something like this maybe a nice blue like that once you've done that click create now that reward has been created and it'll pop up in your custom reward section so if we scroll up here here it is mind blown so that's been created now we want to head over to the rewards queue page. Now to get here, um, it's super simple, but I will leave a link in the description just to make it easy for you guys. And all you need to do is just input your own Twitch username in the URL and it'll take you straight here. So this just has all your redemptions on the side, has a queue, and it's how you interact with the better points extension. Now, so our new redemption mind blown is right here. It's got a little plus icon, meaning there is no event currently attached to the redemption. If you don't have this button next to the redemption that you made, you just need to refresh the page and it will show up. So what we need to do is we actually need to come to the right hand side, top right hand corner, click this little set it, this little cogwheel icon, and now brings up this little box. So this is where you put in those WebSocket settings to, con to connect it to OBS. All you need to do is change this number now leave the local host text there. So whatever number you put in the OBS WebSocket settings, this is the, this is where you put that number now. Like I said, you, you can leave it all as default as uh, quadruple four and it'll be fine. And then if you put a password, make sure you put the password in there, click save, and then it will work on connecting to OBS. And if it's successful, it will say connected and just click away. And then you should have a little green icon um, if you have OBS open. When OBS is not open, this will be uh, switching between orange and red. Now that's connected, we're going to click the little three lines, the event list. So again, these are previous events that I have created, but yours will be blank. So what you want to do is click the little create event button down the bottom here. And a new dialog box comes up. Now this is where everything gets created. So as I was saying before, free, free users get two events and three actions per event. Now, there are little handy tool tips. So if you uh, hover your mouse over certain things, the little two tool tips that pop up will give you a little brief description on what those are. But we're gonna give this event a name. We're gonna call it Mind Blown to match the redemption name. Now start scene. This is only uh, needed if the event that you're setting up, you only want it to trigger if you're on a certain scene. But for the most part, you can just leave that blank and then cool down a straightforward. This is in seconds. So this is, uh, you know, straightforward cooldown of how much you want the event to be triggered. So let's say you've got like a like a 30 second video that plays from one of the redemptions. You can set that to like a five minute cooldown or even a 10 minute cooldown. You can set it to 600 seconds. That is uh, that's 10 minutes. And then people will only be able to re uh, redeem that every 10 minutes. But for this one, we're going to give this one a 10 second cooldown. The action command. So we want to turn on a video source. So we're going to go to source visibility and the scene name, the scene name that we're on is desktop record. The source name is mind blown as well. And in for vi the visible checkbox, we want that ticked because we want this action to turn on the source. Our second action, we want to tell better points to wait about five seconds. So, or maybe about four seconds. So 4,000 milliseconds. We're gonna tell better points, wait four seconds after you turn the source on. And then for the third action, we wanna turn the source off again. So we put in the same things that we did above. Desktop record, mind blown as the source name. And then we leave the visible checkbox unticked to tell better points, hey, turn it off. Now, very important, you must get these absolutely correct. Any typos will cause uh, this to not work. So you need to make sure that everything is absolutely correct. The uh, capitalization is important as well 
it needs to be exactly the same to make sure that the better points can find the thing that it's looking for and interact with it. Now that we have set up this event, we click save, we wait a second and it should appear in your list. There it is right at the bottom there, mind blown. And then we need to come over to the left hand side again. We're going to click the little plus button and this is where you link the redemption to the event that you made. Now, you obviously might have noticed that you can make uh, two different redemptions um, trigger the same event, and that's very true. So you could you could set something up that where viewers and subscribers can trigger the same event, but maybe subs can have a shorter cooldown for the event, and normal viewers have a longer cooldown. So you can th this is where you can get away with the free tier um, in sort of a more creative way. But, uh, but for the most part, it's it's still very limiting. But we're going to set the event and we're going to scroll down and click Mind Blown. And then we're going to save that link. So now Mind Blown has been linked to that event. And then we're going to switch over back to OBS and give it a test and see how it's gone. Now, let me show you the video that we're going to be triggering. A beautiful meme, as you can see. <laughs> And now we're going to go over to the Twitch chat on the right hand side. I've got this embedded into OBS. So we're going to click the little redemption icon. And here is our re the redemption that we made, mind blown. So we're going to click that one and click redeem. And just like that, guys, it works. <laughs> So as you can see, you can do some really, uh, really cool stuff with it. Also, I just want to add that you must keep the rewards page open and the, uh, sorry, the rewards queue. If you don't keep the rewards queue page open, the redemptions won't actually work properly. You need to have the rewards queue open so that the better points extension is opened and actively connecting with OBS to send those uh, instructions um, to OBS. Um, so yeah, just wanted to point that out. So, so in case every, anyone closed that, uh, that like the, the web page and wanted to know why their extensions weren't, was there was, sorry, the, uh, the redemptions weren't working. That's all that, that would be the reason. So you, so when you're streaming, keep that rewards, uh, rewards queue open and you shouldn't have any issues. And as promised, here is an example of, uh, some other creative things that, uh, you can do with better points. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and my viewers have this power. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the issues you might run into. The first one that you might run into is a looping connection. So when you first go onto your rewards page and you go to log into the better points extension in the top right hand corner, sometimes after logging in, you'll be met with a infinite loop uh, that says connecting. I've seen this, I've seen slash heard of this happening a couple times and the only fixes that seem to work that sometimes is to close your entire browser um, and open up, open up a new tab just to clear the cache and your cookies from your browser. Complete, do a complete restart of that, reopen your browser, and hopefully it should work. If that doesn't work, if you head over to the Better Scenes Discord, there is a channel in there where you guys can go in there and ask for help if you're having any issues. But what I found is hopefully clearing the cache and cookies should fix it, but you can always go to the, uh, the guys that run it and, uh, and get help there. Another issue that you guys might run, run into is the WebSocket not connecting. The only reason that this wouldn't work is if you haven't gotten the port numbers correctly or if you've if you've put a password and the password is not exactly correct. I've run into this one before as well um, where I accidentally had a, made a typo in my password which stopped uh, better points uh, connecting with OBS. So just make sure that when you're setting up the WebSocket settings that the password is exactly the same. Double check it. Like even if you have to remake the password, it doesn't matter. Once it's, once it's in, it's in, and then you don't have to touch it ever again. So if you're having that issue, just double check, make sure it has local host, make sure the server port numbers are the same and make sure the password's the same. And if it's still not working, then just leave a password off. Um, because like I said, as I said earlier, you don't need to have a password. It's just a preference. 
Um, especially, it's usually if you're like connecting over the net, but because it's connecting via local localhost, you won't really need to worry about it. So if you're having issues there, you can turn the password off, but just make sure that it's the same. The last issue that you might run into is the event not actually triggering when a redemption is made. And the only reason that this wouldn't work is if you've made a mistake somewhere when setting up the event. Like I said uh, as well earlier, typos can happen so easily. I ran into an issue where I swear, I swore that I had done it all correctly and everything was matching. And when I took a screenshot and showed someone else, they pointed out the typo. So it's super, super easy to make a mistake and gloss over it, even if you've double checked. So my recommendation is if you set up an event and you it's just not working, take a screenshot and just show someone else. Like having a, having a different pair of eyes just seems to magically work and find the typos. So yeah, typos are the only reason why an event won't trigger when a redemption is made. So just triple, quadruple check that everything is spelt correctly and is exactly the same as it is in OBS. Like the, sor the source name and the capitalization have to be exactly the same as it is on OBS, uh, as in, in, in better points. So just make sure they're both matching and you shouldn't run into any issues. All right, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you found it enjoyable and useful. If you liked the video, make sure you give that like button a slap. And if you loved it, make sure you punch that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. So until next time, see you later. What's happening in this room? Oh. I'm inside, guy, I'm in the box. I'm in the box. I'm in. Shh. They can't find me. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs>